All right, hello everybody. Uh, today, I'm gonna to show you what this little guy is. I found my prototype boards. I made like five of them, five boards back in uh, 2006. This is my ribbon cable tester. Uh, it works on 40 pin Pac-Man style cables and it works on uh, Donkey Kong style cables. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so this just fits on the JAMA connector. And I made them so I could use them on the bench. All of these you want, well, it doesn't matter if they're open or closed. So basically, when the power's on, uh, you, get, you get this here. And when it's off, this is your on-off switch on this is your power indicator i should probably make that red or some other color it could be either one but uh, on and off so to t to test the cable basically you just i'm going to do a this is a well that's a pretty short one let's see if i have a longer cable here all right it doesn't matter as long as the key fits you can go either way pin one doesn't really matter so I've used this for quite a few years when we built because we build these kind of cables in-house and boom that one's in then I put it up here Plug it into the top. Okay, so now it's in here and here. When we turn it on, you'll notice this is a 50 pin cable. Whoops. I think I have an LED that's out. This tests every other pin in the connector. And when you move this to the other direction, it tests the other half. So this is basically to tell you if anything lights up in the opposite opposite corner, you have a short. If one of these doesn't pop or come on, then you have a problem also. And so it's really simple. You know, just a bunch of LEDs and a couple connectors. And uh, I power it right off the JAMA harness so that we could do it on the bench. I probably eventually need to add some kind of, uh, you know, five volt um, connector somewhere but that's pretty much all it does and so i've got my prototype still i bought a bunch of the zip sockets the zip sockets won't fit in the board so i have to put a socket in there first and so i'm going to i'm going to put these on i'm going to add these connectors and then populate them and put them up for sale i'm going to have four of them um, I don't know what these things will be worth, uh, but after these, I'll probably probably just retire it. Maybe I'll keep one for myself, uh, so I have one here and one at the shop, and then uh, and then um, you know that's about it. So it's like I said, very simple, good idea. Uh, I've had a lot of questions about it over the years, and um, you know, that's all it is. You can't do real short cables. I mean, these are too short to, well, yeah, you can't put them in. Originally, I was going to put uh, two of these headers in, and I could do that. I could put a header next to this on both sides, and then you'd be able to test these shorter ones. Um, in fact, I might still do that. Uh but most of them we were testing are for Galaga and for other games. But I guess I need to be able to test these short ones too. So maybe I'll just change out instead of having the connector under here. We'll put one on each side, which is how we originally designed it. And um, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to town. I don't know why I didn't do that. But anyway... Um, you get to test half of the pins at one time. And like I said, if one of them's out, forget it. You've got a problem with your crimp.
And if one of them is, uh, one is on on the opposite side, then you know you got a short. Let me see, do I have a, I think I have a ribbon cable around here. Hold on, let me grab one. Well, they're all ribbon cables, but I have a Pac-Man ribbon cable here. So let's pop this guy off. Boy, I need to replace this header too. So here's a Pac-Man, or Miss Pac-Man ribbon cable. You just pop it in. Same down here. And turn it on. All right, so if you notice on this one, you only see 10, uh, 20 on this side. The last five are out of circuit because there's only tw uh, 40 pins on this cable. Flip it to the other side, boom. 40 pins there, or 20 pins there, total of 40, and that's it. Very simple. Um, gives me a lot of peace of mind after crimping them. You know, uh, that way we, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a bunch of cables coming back, you know, miscrimped or something. So it's really good for these. Um, the other thing I found is you could put like, uh, you know, you could use like Adreno headers and you stick them on the first five or six if you're testing the cable. Put them there, put them on the bottom after you've crimped them all and then turn it on and it'll show up lights on that side that you've done half over here, half over here. Well, actually just half here. It'll show them all on whichever side you, you, you put them on on these pins. So these pins can do more than just uh, just ribbon cables um, or IDC connectors. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna solder these in, these two sockets. And uh, you may wanna watch, you may not. Let's see. Let's pull this down. I think I'm going to put some straight headers on this, get, get a bunch of straight headers. I don't think they're that expensive and uh, we'll, we'll put them together. So I'm just, I basically have just a, a standard little header on these. I put the zip socket on, but I used the wrong size, um, wrong size holes on this. I, I just added a socket when I laid this board out instead of, uh, instead of thicker pins for the zip socket, which is fine. This way, if the socket, you know, ever goes bad or you're not stuck with it on there. Yeah, so I'll probably I'll probably make the SKU just cable tester, CBL tester, or something like that on the website, and uh, they should be up in a couple days. I gotta wait for all the LEDs to come in and put them on. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll just put the sockets on and sell them as a kit. I don't know. Um, they're, they're pretty simple to do. It's just a bunch of resistors. There we go. Oh, there we go. So these actually come off. You know, so you, they're pretty high. You can. There you go, and they click in place. I may build a little box for it. I don't know. Don't need it. know if I really need one. Um, on off switch, switch one for the sides, that side, this side. Yeah, and that's it. So it, it plugs, like I said, right into a JAMA harness. Um, and there's also two pins here if you wanted to wire up. Uh, I'll put a little header there if you want to, if you want to, uh, you know, plug in five volts and ground. Uh, that'll work too. And yeah, you'll end up with something like this. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.